Hi, it's Adam here again from Music Radar. Today I am looking at another soft synth. This is the Cult by Dorsum. Uh, I looked at another Dorsum synth a little while ago called Abyss, which is a really lovely ambient kind of synth, which I really liked. Uh, and this is the new one from him called Cult. Cult is possibly a bit more flexible, a bit more all-encompassing. Um, it's a two oscillator based synth. Uh, it's based on it's based on the mathematical principle of strange attractors, which I did look up on Wikipedia and very quickly glazed over. Um, but it's basically something to do with fractals, which you can kind of see in the middle here. These are the two visual representations of the two oscillators. Um, you can see you have a huge amount to choose from. There's 35 in here at the moment. These different oscillator shapes um, from kind of analogy, um, warm stuff to really harsh digital sounds. So you can see there I've chosen a white noise and you can see it's very noisy kind of shape. And you can also see as I change the uh, various parameters, these are macros up here, um, it changes the shape of the uh, the visual graph there. Uh, and this might be one of the first synths uh, that's actually just as fun to play with when it is um, muted as when it's um, completely sounding because it's quite a lot of fun to make these shapes dance around. So you've got these two independent oscillators, which you can obviously balance together. Um, down at the bottom, you've got the controls for oscillator one and oscillator two. Um, you can switch on frequency modulation and amplitude modulation options, but um, very simplified and easy to use. Um, filter options, you've got um, a classic analog filter as default. You've also got some uh, distortion comb filtering. Um, and there's two different kind of comb filters and two different um, distortions as well. Also down at the bottom here, under the ARP uh, label, there's actually much more than an ARP going on here. Um, so you've got things like chord, um, a pattern, which is kind of very advanced arpeggio, um, transposing the pitch and locking it to specific scales as well. There's the mod section, and so this is where you're gonna control the mod parameters. You can see this list down the side is all the modulation that's enabled on this patch already. Um, so there's a standard ADSR, there's a pressure mod wheel, and you've got graphs and, and things for that. So you click on these to get a real micro control over everything, uh, and that all lives down the bottom here. The presets can be found at the top, um, which you can load in, or there's a big list of them. Uh, at the moment I've got 314, this is on version one. So there's loads of different stuff in there separated out into sections. It also has full MPE support. Uh, I'm just using a standard MIDI keyboard at the moment, not an MPE keyboard, um, but you'll see that represented along this little uh, graphic along the bottom here. So that's a very quick basic overview. There's a huge amount going on here. Um, this patch at the moment is called the Cult, um, which I'll go back and uh, normalize actually because I fiddle with it. Um, so this, when you load up Synth for the first time, it loads up the Cult um, by Peter V, who's the author of uh, Cult Synth. So this is kind of a signature patch, I suppose. So let's start with that. Um, I'll do a bit of sound tweaking so you can see how some of these controls affect things. And then we'll have a little go on a few more of these presets down here.
So yeah, that is Cult in a very brief nutshell. Uh, it's a real synth to get lost in and just to play with. It's hugely complex, but um, very easy to navigate very quickly. Uh, and you can really get lost inside some ambience there and, and play with it and make drones that go on for hours. So I recommend doing that. Cult is available through Traction. Um, so it's on the Traction website. Um, we should be able to Google it by... Uh, finding Dawson Cult or Traction, Traction Cult. Uh, and it comes with a 90-day trial, um, fully featured trial, which is incredibly generous. Um, so you've got no reason not to go out and grab it for that 90-day trial. Uh, and yeah, have a lot of fun for 90 days. I'm going to light some candles and carry on playing with this thing, but let me know what you think, and we'll have more on Cult and everything else on musicradar.com. <laughs>